Hey guys, good morning. No, it's not cars, it's finding Dory. <laughs> Alright, hey, uh, yeah, I'm um, just uh, having a go at streaming anything this morning. Um, I'm gonna have a go at the uh, 5 0 arena, um, unless uh, I get a, a match offer from someone that uh, wants to play. All right, looking for a pairing shortly, hopefully. All right, um, I'm just going to try to catch up with some of the chat here. Um, I just, <laughs> I just had to pause the stream uh, a moment ago. Uh, uh, my daughter Bella had a bleeding nose. Um, all right. I haven't played a tour in a little while. I'm going to berserk this. I'm up against Fab King. Um, so, yeah, I've got uh, my uh, Crazy House World Championship match up against uh, Svenos. It will be tomorrow. Um, so, I haven't really played much during the week, so I'm keen to just get some practice in. Okay, that's pawn on b7 hanging. Should probably just, I'll just defend it this way. And I'm just going to step out of the way of this pin, and let's try to make some progress. Okay, so I've got plenty of pieces on this side. Um, now looking to develop this knight. Oh, he's given me this pawn here. I'll, I'll grab that if he allows it. So, um, yeah, pawn on edge three is. Hey, what's up, Bell? No, I think Marlon's looking for his wife. Uh, I, I get a sorry, guys. I get a, a live um, update of what's going on in uh, Finding Nemo uh, while I play here. Um, that's on in the background. Um, coincidentally, Finding Nemo is set in Sydney for, for a fair piece of the movie as well, which is where I'm from. Uh, that's one of the favourites, one of the regulars um, that my daughter likes to watch at the moment. Okay, we're, we're getting decisive here because this is going to be made. Yeah, I, I haven't played a tournament for a while. Um, someone's made a comment on that. It's... Uh, yeah, I haven't uh, hit that berserk button for a long time. Um, yeah, I, I just I'm just happy to play anyone at the moment. Just uh, get into the flow of things. Yeah, bro, what's up? Alright, we'll berserk here. How about you lie down? Sorry, I, I, I've just realised you probably can't hear what my daughter's saying because the filter will, will block it out, but um, I'll occasionally be turning around and talking, talking with her. Okay, distressed assets. I've not played against this opponent before. Um, this is another standard E4, E5 line. Um, I'm looking here to, to put a few pieces in his half. So that's how I'm looking at this. If you draw a line through the middle, I've got two pieces in his half. Nothing decisive yet. Um, 
Yes, Bella. What's up? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm keen on uh, blocking off this diagonal. That's where I'll start. And then um, now I'm looking to make some pressure on this diagonal while I've still got it open. Okay, Albundi1681 says, John, you think you'll do any bug house this weekend? Um, possibly, I'm not sure. Oh, hold on, I'm going to need to. Hang on, Bill, I'll get to you. Hang on, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, no, question from the viewer was, um, will we see any bug house to, uh, this weekend? Possibly. Um, not sure. We, we haven't uh, lined anything up, but uh, I may even just uh, try try my luck going on to fix and uh, seeing what we find. Um, no, it's been good. Uh, I haven't played much bug house in the last, well, through 2016, but uh, it's been really fun more recently. Um, the only thing is probably my regular time slot to play Bug House during the weekend will be um, taken up by the um, Prezi House World Championship match up against Venos. Um, just a comment on this position here of playing a trick in this fork here. If he plays King H1, then he'll be mated. Um, so we'll play Knight, Knight G3, King H2, Knight F1. Uh, I won't settle for taking the queen, we'll, we'll take the mate instead. Um, yeah, but uh, bug out is fun. Henry Gross there asks, is it winter in Australia? No, it is not. It is the hottest summer we've had in a long time. Um, I was actually flying, I was actually heading to the airport yesterday on my way home from a work trip. Um, my, my wife sent me a message, she showed me a picture of all right, it's Mr. Ray. Our car temperature was showing it was 48 degrees Celsius outside. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but for Australia, 48 degrees Celsius is very, very hot. Um, we've been having a steady run of 38 and 40 degree days. Um, yeah, it's it's been intense. Um, Yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know if uh, Distressed Assets is um, just stalling. No, he's, uh, he's resigned there. Um, um, uh, Joe Kasirzak, he said 118 Fahrenheit. Wow. Yeah, 118 Fahrenheit. Yeah. Sorry, I probably should have just punched it into Google, right? I mean, Google knows everything. So, um, yeah, we've, we've had some hot days. Um, let, let me see if I can actually go and do this. I'll just go and Google it myself. So we're expecting about 43, 44 degrees Celsius. Um, okay. That. Let's not uh, ignore the board. So we've got Craftwork here, 2015. I've not played... Oh, no, I have played this opponent once before. Um, maybe just not in my memory bank. Um, okay, we've got we've got a French going there. So yeah, we're expecting about 111 Fahrenheit today. Um, it is not winter here, that's for sure. Um, in fact, since they ever started recording weather in Australia, this has been the hottest. January that's passed. Um, 
so yeah maybe it's um it's all just uh, the sign of global warming really um Okay, I'm I'm gonna grab this bishop here because um, that's quite a good asset for black. Um, now I quite like this setup here where um, you can get a bishop on h3 because it keeps the king side very safe. I'm preparing myself to castle, but usually this bishop's um, greatest enemy would be a knight on g5 or f4. So it's also nice when you can have this bishop covering those squares, and uh, we've got the queen backing up on g. What's up, Bell? Is it scary? What's scary, Bell? Um, yeah, hey everyone, here. I'll hold you. Here. Hmm? It's okay, Bell. Um, my daughter scares easily. Uh, there's a part of the movie here where I think Nemo's going to get taken away. Okay, Queen G4. Just putting a pin up here. You okay, Bell? It's just a movie. Should figure it out one day. Um, okay, so let's let's figure out how we should make progress from here. Um, Okay, well, minus 6 Celsius in New York, minus 10 in Finland. Well, it looks like we've taken all the heat from you, because it's all here at the moment. Um, I'm going to do something interesting here, I think, I think I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, it's okay, Bell. I'm going to sacrifice the queen. Are you scared or cold? Cold? Oh, it's because the air comes here. Let me hold you. All right, it's okay, Bill. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just relax. Okay. <laughs> you can watch that screen while I'm watching this screen. So my opponent's not actually uh, biting here. He's not taking the queen. I, th I think it's fine for, like, to capture. I'm just trying to be practical and, and hit the dark squares first. Bow, what are you doing? Hang on, hang on. Just be careful with the wire. You want to get down? He's, he's going to be all right. Um, someone's asked, John has a daughter? How old is John? John, me, is 31. Um, if you didn't think that, then I'll take it as a compliment. It's great. Um, some people say they think I'm younger than that. Um... I've been married now for seven years. We've got a kid. Um, so, yeah, I mean, some say it's getting married early. Um, I've had friends get married much earlier. But everyone's got their life path. There's, there's, no, um, there's no set path or when you should get married or how old you're meant to be or anything like that. Minus three in Switzerland, minus four in Germany, minus nine in... Uh, yeah. Oh, man took Nemo. Man took Nemo, yeah. He left his mask. His mask? Yeah, his goggles. He left his goggles. Yeah. It'll be alright. He's going to go looking for Nemo, okay? He'll find Dory soon. You'll be alright. Yeah, Dory's going to help him. Um, oh, it's serious sarcasm. Oh, best, best, uh, best person to join the channel. He says, 31? You look early 20s. OMG. Thanks. That's so nice. Um, I just get called a dad at work. Maybe it's because I throw too many dad jokes out there, so, um, shouldn't complain. Um... Henry Grosso is asking what I do for a living. I um, I work with data, um, mostly uh, like supermarket type data. So you know everything that scans with a barcode gets captured and aggregated somewhere. So my company is one such company that does that, and we 
feed on data to um, manufacturers of products so they can work out how their sales are going, they can track performance, um, all of that. That's what I do for a living. Um, and Joe CSX says, do you exercise regularly, John? Um, been pretty good um, the last the last three months or so. I've, I've got a colleague, um, him and I, we uh, we make an effort to to walk three times a week, uh, a considerable distance. Um, so yeah, we, we turn up early to work, kind of. Oh, about 6.30 in the morning and then we'll do eight kilometres um, around the Sydney Olympic Park, which is nearby where we work. Um, yeah, uh, eight kilometres in miles is about five miles. Um, so yeah, I've been keeping up with that about three times a week. Didn't do that at all last week because I was travelling, but um, yeah, it's it's not running, it's, it's not uh, strenuous, but uh, it's good distance. So, um, yeah, it, it's good to try to keep your health in check. Okay, so here, here, I've, I've uh, had a few sacks played against my king, but I'm, I'm just trying to consolidate my king side. Put plenty of minor pieces around it, makes things safe. And then I want to try to make use of this diagonal. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hit this knight. I'll probably push back to e2. He hasn't done that. I think he's keen on trying to make some kind of attack go here, but he's going to leave his queen hanging. So I picked up a little bit of material and then now I'm looking at knight d4, bishop e4. So we'll grab this guy, makes sense, you're putting some pressure here. So let's let's try to break this wide open. I'm just gonna hammer straight in here as fast and as quick as I can. Yes, Bella. And they got sharks. Yep, sharks live there. So uh, this live stream will get an update of what's going on in Finding Nemo just every every few minutes. Uh, so already very decisive here. Um, very difficult for White to defend. Yes, Bell. What are they doing? Kladji. I don't know what you're saying, Bell. Whoops, a rook at h1 would have been made. That's uh, more appropriate. But okay, we get the job done. Okay. <laughs> it would say shark moment. Now this part is scary. Um, Zed Ahio, he says, I've started running regularly again. It's starting to be fun already when my legs don't weigh a ton anymore. Yeah, I, actually it's... You know, you know you're, you're 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 struggling a little bit more when um, you can feel that uh, your legs are rubbing together in the middle, and then when you exercise and then you you're doing well, you can feel like your legs move freely again. That's uh, my useless, disgusting fact of the morning. Um, that's obviously what you're all tuned in here to here for, right? Um, on to other things. So. Um, Daniel FHD says, John Lee, um, when started Bughouse and Crazy House, and who was the John Lee of that time? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I only joined around year 2000. Maybe it's been going since 1995. Uh, not, not entirely sure, but certainly for Bughouse, probably for Crazy House as well, was, was Kinejas, G-N-E-J-S. Now, the Ganeshas I'm talking about is not the same Ganeshas that you'll find on Lee Chess. Uh, the Ganeshas on Lee Chess is actually Vaboris on Fix. Um, the original Ganeshas is from Sweden. 
and I think he was just he was just playing a positional game or anyone else was um, and he just understood the game a lot better and there came a time when uh, others started figuring it out and um, we were all more a little bit evenly matched um, but there, there was an engine a crazy house engine developed before Sunsetter called Sjeng, S-J-E-N-G, and that's basically the reverse letters of Ganesh's. So I think that was the inspiration for that engine's name. Uh, so he was probably one of the original guys. Okay, I'm going to have to part with my queen here. Um, now I'm fine with that. The two pieces I think is more valuable than the queen in this situation. Because while Black's got a queen, he can't actually do anything with it now. Those that have watched my channel will see this is a common motif that you can give away two pieces for a queen. I've now also got this open line here. I might have a discovery. This bishop got to come out here. So lots of open lines. I'm going to go straight for it. And uh, bishop g6, this, this h5 move is going to create some weakness. So I think he's basically had no pieces in hand. He's seeing if he can try to make some activity here, but white will certainly get in first. Okay. <laughs> um, jokes here, Zek. He says, there is a chess game in the way of the Nemo stream. Please fix. <laughs> uh, that's great. Um, okay. My opponent's trying to get some mating threats here, so I've got to be decisive. I've got to try to get some attack going myself. Um, so, maybe I should actually cut off D7. Yes, Bell. The shark's name is Brucey. Alright. Alright, I'm going to just actually cut off D7. I can chase the king out, but the trouble is the king's just going to run out here. And then I feel like he's got some open space. It might be a bit more difficult to net him. Um, Alright, we'll, we'll play knight at g7. Um, the correct move is king f8, which he's played. Um, I was actually hoping he'd do a different move, but um, he's keeping me honest. Okay, I actually need to be sensible here. I think I better defend properly. So knight at g7 is really a bluff. It's a bit loose. I mean, it's um, the, the idea is that it's hoping for bishop g7 and then pawn f7, king f8, knight at h7, rook takes knight f7, mate. He hasn't gone for it, so I've just lost a knight now. Um, so I need to try to win some material back. So Bluff played, bluff called. That's a good play from my opponent. Um, so now, now just threatening to win the queen, um, or otherwise progress by winning the rook. Okay, I will grab the queen. Okay, so um, yeah, let's let's try to wrap this one up nicely. Um, there's a nice move here, knight at e8. I'm basically trying to distract the rook from its defense of f7. And then queen at f7 should be decisive. Um, I don't see the mate just yet, but um, it looks very promising. Mm, so, I mean, he, he can't play king h6 because I've got a mate there. He's played it. This just seals off the h7 square, preventing his king going there, and I've got to double check to finish. But uh, if he took the knight, I didn't have immediate mate, but um, I should have superior king safety over, over my opponent. Alright. So I think uh, things have cooled down on Finding Nemo now, because um, all the scary bits have gone. 
Unless Bella gets scared about Nemo entering the fish tank. Okay, I'm going to need a pairing soon to, to record another result. I think it's going to be hard to catch 28 with uh, the time left, but uh, we'll see if we can do it. I think I only joined in the last half hour. This one's been going about 90 minutes. <laughs> Henry Gross says, don't talk too fast, the jellyfish part is coming. <laughs> It's been a, a very popular movie, this Finding Nemo. I find uh, the viewers of the channel always seem to know where it's at. Um, so thanks for uh, joining the ride uh, with my daughter. Okay, this, this is an interesting opening, so I'm not, I'm not too familiar with this. Um, see where this goes. So I want to be able to castle so I can get out of this pin and start developing this bishop. Alright, so h4, h5 could be an idea. I think that should be considered seriously. In fact, if he does play h4, I'm going to stop h5 by playing knight h5 because uh, it will make the g3 bishop a bit weaker. Now this e5 move leaves d5 hanging, so I've got to capitalize on that. And then next I'm thinking a move like pawn at f4, which will uh, uh, we'll, we'll defend this knight. Pawn at f4 will undermine the defense on e5, and then I'll try to undermine his center first, and then we'll look at developing d6, and we'll bring the pieces out and proceed gradually. Um, okay, let's go. Uh, yes, so Tragic Bronson says, I'm here for finding Nemo. The crazy house is getting in the way. Yes, Bell, what's up? It's a bad fish. He's not a bad fish. He's, he's just keen to get out in the ocean. Um, okay. I should really just play d5 there, actually. That's the appropriate move. I mean, this this isn't a bad move, but... I mean, now pawn at d6 is playable. Yes, Bell. It's a starfish. It's a starfish. It hangs off the glass. Yeah, this is a Finding Nemo stream. Pretty much. Uh, <clears throat> no one's here to see Crazy House. Um, okay, I've got a free pawn there. Okay, I've connected my rooks, so we've got complete development. So now we, we just hit the open queen, there's knight at c2 is coming, so it's 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 fairly clear win for black from here. <coughs> Alright. Oh no. So Henry, you were saying don't to don't talk too fast, the jellyfish part is coming. No, jellyfish isn't just yet. I mean We've got the uh, the fish in the dark that has to uh, has to lure um, Marlin and uh, Dory. Clearly, there's um, not enough crazy house to comment on here because um, it really is being dominated by finding Dory or finding Nemo, I should say, this morning. Right, pawn at C2, going in for the kill. And bishop g4 is also a good move, just trying to win a queen is, is never a bad thing. 
but um, I've got mate here. <clears throat> Okay, Tragic Bronson says, no spoilers, John. I haven't seen the movie yet. Sure you haven't. All right, 2 minutes 50. I don't know if I'll get another match in here or not. We'll see. They haven't said that there's no pairings left, so um, maybe there's a quick go. Yeah. Hey, it's going to be scary. You're going to see a light. Okay, my daughter knows where it's at. <laughs> Joe Yeah Yeah, there's a light Joe's saying uh, we, we can watch this in 20p resolution Yeah, it's going to be a scary fish Yeah Alright Someone said, can you please change the title? It's incorrect. But um, on my dashboard, I have changed the title, so I'm not sure where it's sourcing from. Um, or I don't know if it just hasn't saved. But um, it, it should be saying Crazy House Tournament, leechess.org. I was having had luck with YouTube and, and Twitch this morning. They're um, not cooperating with me. Um... Christopher Lundell is asking, is it the Dark Abyss part? Yeah, I think you could say it's the Dark Abyss part. There's a, there's a fish trying to eat him now. Oh, very cheeky, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, it says tournament pairings are now closed, so I'll withdraw from the event. Okay, let's go find some more crazy house to play. Um, where are we going next? I don't know if Opa Wesson's willing to play. He said he had some connection issues before. Oh, Master Ten. Let's let's try to get him in. Um, Why is the TV white? Because the video is white. It's, it's not the TV. Okay, we got Master Town, guys. Here we go. Alright. I'll change the title again. Um, Okay. Let's go. Master 10. Okay, you can see there's been a long track record here. 1491 1, verse 773. That's uh, what? Goodness. Uh, 2,264 games. That's a lot of games we've played, and that's only on this website. So we've we've played um we played each other on Fix for a long time before this. Um. Yeah, we often play a lot of one minute, so it'll be interesting to play a bit of three minute against Master Ten. Just get in shape for tomorrow. Um. If you haven't heard already, I'm, I'm playing against Svenos at uh, 6 p.m. Saturday. That's the GMT time, 6 p.m. Um, Saturday, uh, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time in the U.S. and Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific time in the U.S. So I look forward to, to seeing you all there if you want to catch the live stream. Okay, there's a bit of pressure on H2 I need to look out for because there's some stuff that can unravel on D4. E4, E2. Uh, we'll go to E2. Um, 94 is normally quite common. I'm not concerned about 
knight d4 because I'm, I'm covered with uh, this discovered check. I could win the queen if he took that. But um, in coming here, the idea is actually to go to h5. If I go to e4, yeah, you can still go g3, h5. Maybe it's trivial. Um, If knight e4, I was looking at pawn f5, knight g3, h5, and then he was going to hit me with h4. So only a slight difference coming to f4. But, I mean, you're really picking at hairs here on that stuff. Okay, um, Henry Gross says, more seriously, how did you train to reach this level? Did you just play a lot? Have you taken any lessons? I, I just played a lot. Um, there, there wasn't really anyone to learn from at my time so um, I don't know there came a day I felt I was kind of decent at the game and I said from here on in I'm going to play anyone and everyone and I'm going to find the, the toughest the toughest match oh this is creative he's sacked two knights we'll see what's coming of this yeah I, I'm not a big fan of sack I think white gets in with some initiative too quickly on f6 and g7 um, but yeah, I just played a lot, a lot of fast time limit, a lot of, a lot of one minute. Um, let's let's see what's going on here. We'll take this one first before I go grabbing. Pawn at g6 is also a dangerous one. I don't mind leaving a little bit of pressure latent. Okay, we can just be safe, or we can ambitious and. And be ambitious and push up on the g3. I will play it safe though. Um, yeah, so I used to play on fix ICC. Oh, this looks too dangerous for black. I'm gonna grab this guy. If he takes it, he'll be mated with knight at h5, and then uh, there'll be pawns on g7 and h7. Um, so I'm just going to support this knight here. This pawn is hanging. I think this actually helps black to defend, so I'm going to leave the knight there for a moment. Um, mm. Nah, it's, it's too good. I have to take it now. With the bishop on h6 now covering this, it's going to be very tough. Now g7 is just impossible to stop. Okay. b4. Yeah, I mean, Oppa Wesson has, has played this a lot. Um, maybe he's making it a little bit popular among some of the stronger players. Um, quite often, um, we're, we're all just trying to find something new or different and um, create some some new play. So it's not all about what's the best move. I mean, it's just getting your opponent into an unfamiliar situation is a good thing sometimes. Yeah, I don't like C3. Um, I think it just blocks this natural diagonal, blocks development here. So, you know, in these early stages of the game, I mean, Crazy House is a little bit more like chess. There's still some basic development principles. Um, unlike Bug House, you've still got to make use of all the pieces on the board. So, I don't think C3 is right there. A castle. Okay, we'll play d5. So he's basically preparing um, bishop c4, where if takes, takes, you can pin the queen. Um, so I'm not going to recapture this with a queen, I'm recapturing at the pawn. Um, and now he's going to try to develop that way. 
So maybe I've been a little bit helpful to him. So this is kind of in the way of playing bishop e6, but I'm wondering if it's still worthwhile. Yes, Bo. Yeah, it is Sydney. Alright, the difference here is I'm putting a pawn on e6, which helps block here. So if now he captures, I might recapture with the queen, and then after bishop c4, there's queen e4 check. Um, pawn at d5, potentially. Alright. So I'm, I'm going to give up a pawn here, just to kind of prevent white from getting active this way. I don't mind leaving this pawn here. So it's a bit of a positional sacrifice here. I think, I think white will be a little bit better from it. But um, this, is, this is a practical move. So... Yeah, I want, I want to be able to try to get active fast here before he can untangle his pieces. I've got a slight development advantage. So now just harassing and he's getting pushed back. So I feel I've got compensation here. Um, this d3 square is a weakness. How to be decisive here. Let's be aggressive. We'll, we'll play knight g4 because this queen's attacking d2, so I can um, claim this king is tied to too many duties at the moment. And then, really, for me, it's about how we get this bishop and rook active. Um, there's, there's a few ways forward. Okay, but I've basically just made white spend four moves with his one knight and I've been able to progress, so I don't mind giving up that pawn. Um, yeah, okay. I think this makes sense. Bishop c5, still putting pressure. So we can play pawn at e3. Okay, and now e5. So part of the idea of bishop c5 is also to prevent c5 before I try to open this up myself. Um, the bishop may have a life on e6, it may have a life on h3. I'm even looking at some kind of creative double knight sack while uh, white's still got his king in the centre. Um, so I'm prepared to, to sacrifice a little more material. I've only given up a pawn so far. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll go for it without too much more thought. Just playing to be hyperactive here. Let all the pieces hang. Yes, Bella. Dory said speed. Yes, Dory's all about speed. Um, so knight at c2 is looking dangerous here. Um, I've just uh, opened up the position. Uh, so I'm looking at how, how to get d1 working. Um, let's play knight at c1 maybe. Take use of this fork. You can't really take with the bishop because it looks too dangerous. So I'm really making use of all my pieces here, and I'm getting in. This is looking more decisive. Uh, yes, I'm seeing mate now. So I cut off the king, the bishop at c3, and then pawn at f2 to finish. So yeah, happy with how I played that game. Um, it may not all be best, but but practically um, uh, there was there was a nice little pawn sacrifice and then trying to use that initiative with, with the pieces I had on the board. Uh, 
Okay, so we're entering into this this sort of one again. So you set up this uh, little wall here. Yes, Bella. You want to eat something? All right. Something crunchy. Uh, what do you want to eat? Do you want do you want chocolate cereal? Do you want Nutella with toast? What, what would you like? Something. Something else. Well, you've got to tell me what something else is. Hey, hey, come here. You got to say hello to the people. Here, you got to talk in the microphone. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and you got to look and you got to wave at the camera. Hello. <laughs> uh, you're funny. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. You want pocky? You sure? Isn't it a bit early for that sort of stuff? All right, hang on. I got to think of this next move first. All right, do we have Pocky? Can you bring it here? Yeah. Um. It's great being a dad. Sometimes, I mean, when you're waking up at two thirty in the morning, that's not as great. But this stuff's pretty fun. Um, okay, I've got a few pawns in here. Now, I've, I've sacrificed a piece for two pawns, so I've got to try to um, make use of, of them and create something on the board. So, you know, you can get up to like six pawns in hand, and then they're really hard to utilize because you need to just put them on one at a time. So, in masses, they're good. So, I'm starting here. If he castles, I'm going to put one here. Um, he's kind of put two pieces over this side. And before he can reactivate them, I've, I've got to try to make some moves on his king. Uh, the idea of rook e1 was to, in some way, also uh, avoid moves like knight e4 takes pawn at e2, which was going to fork the queen and the rook. Queen and the rook. Um, so yeah, what were to from here? Uh, I'm going to just try to hit more light squares. I'm expecting e5. No. Um, what e5 was a little better, but each to his own. Queen h3, important to cover f5, but also attack the knight. You don't want to go queen g3, then you lose the pawn, and then you get hit again, and black covers everything. So queen h3, the choice here. So I'm looking at pawn at g5, and even something like 96. Oh, I don't. I think that's too ambitious. Right. Maybe pawn e6 is sensible. Yes, Bella. What did you type? Oh, the turtles found them. Yeah. Hey, mini man, taking on the jelly. You were like, whoa. Yeah. Yes, pal. Why the, I don't know why the turtle said that. This really is the Finding Nemo stream. <laughs> oh, he said dude. D dude, he's just being friendly. Dude, like, whoa. It's like I took the pawn on e6, I was like, whoa. And then my opponent had to think, and I'm like, whoa. Dude, totally. Grab shell, dude. Um. Mm. Do I like this? Okay. Knight at g5. I'm basically saying, if you take my queen, I'm going to take your queen. Um, and then I'm trying to sneak in either queen e7 or queen f6 with some tactics. Meanwhile, I need to be careful I don't get mated back at home because there can be, after all trades come off, knight at h3 can, can be an issue sometimes. 
So I think Queen F6 is right here. There's a nasty Rook E8 check. Um, isn't really gone for it. I got a mate here somewhere else. I'll just go knight e6. I take his queen with check. It should be uh, should be curtains for him. Just bishop at e6, queen f7. Yeah, what's up, Bill? Calm. I can't come right now. I'm on the channel. Yeah, yeah. You can sit here. Yeah. No, no, no. Cause, cause everyone wants to see you. Come, look. Hey, can you say hello again? Say hi, like this. You gotta talk in the microphone, I can't hear you. No? Where's your bones gone? Alright. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I'm sorry, I've not kept up with the channel. Um, someone's asked how long I've known Master Tan for. Oh. I'm just going to say 10 years, I'll take a stab in the dark, I'm not sure. But uh, we played a long time on Fix. Um, uh, I was I was generally a fair bit better than him in the past, and now our match is generally a lot more balanced. Um, it's not so easy. Uh, yes, Belle? What's up? No, but I can't come, because I'm, I'm attending the channel. You want me to come? You want, where's the Pocky? Okay, all right, hang on. Guys, i got to come back. i got to get some food for my daughter. Sorry guys, so um, yeah, I make a joke about um, advertising for mango juice or whatever, but uh, yeah, my, my daughter today is having some Meiji. Uh, I, I can't read the Japanese, but it's basically this kind of chocolate strawberry thing. Maybe you know of it, maybe you don't, but um, I'm looking like the bad parent this morning. She really should be having some proper breakfast, and she's starting with lollies. But um, what, what, what can you do? Um, Got to try to stick on the stream for a little longer. So um, it's going to be a bit of a bad parent this morning. Okay, what's going on here? Um, this feels theoretical. Um, oh, maybe Bishop F2 was an idea. It's okay. I mean, if, if white takes this bishop, I mean, th these are both valuable pieces. Um, ooh, nasty. I can't take this because he takes, and if I recapture, knight f6 will mate me with queen h7 to finish. So I've got to be sensible. I've got to play queen g5. Um, fortunately he doesn't have a knight in hand. No. He's making progress. I will take this guy now. Oh, I don't like what I'm doing here. I'm uh, sacking a bit too much material, but uh, yeah, if, if I back off here, he basically was going to take the bishop and play bishop at g4, and then he was just massing pieces on the king side, and positionally, I felt that was where he would be comfortable. That's a, a preferred master tan kind of way of grinding. 
Um, so I'm just trying to throw a spanner in the works here by sacking aggressively. And now knight f6 is a mate threat I need to watch out for. So I'm not I'm not getting the compensation I'm looking for here. I'm um, I'm worse off. So try to defend. If he plays knight e7, I'll I'll back off in the corner and then play fg. Maybe it's even worthwhile capturing first. No, then I'll get mated. So if if knight e7 takes takes king or cross. Well, King cross, knight g6 takes, queen at g. Oh, hmm, maybe I'm seeing ghosts. I think I saw him having an extra piece in his hand. Alright. We'll check from distance. He, he's basically just trying to progress gradually in here. That's a problem for me. Alright, now if knight f6 takes knight h6, oh, he's going that way first. Oh, I was hoping he'd go a different way, but he's, he's not really getting mated, is he? He can run his king out this way. So I'm just going to be worse off here. It's a matter of time now. He's he's outplayed me completely in the opening. Um, I'm just hanging on for dear life here. All right, trying to get knight at e3 in. No, that's not going to work. Quite mated. So a nice play from him. I mean, maybe maybe my uh, bishop f2, queen g3 idea is just futile. Um, but uh, he got me he got me good in the opening. I felt. Okay, let's try and advance French. Um, e dog bomb, welcome. <laughs> e dog bomb says, uh, "Yes, I finally caught a John Lee stream live." Says he's been missing this beautiful voice. Where do you guys get this stuff? Um, very creative. Uh, happy to have some fans. Uh, welcome, e dog bomb. Okay, I have not really played this line before, like the capture and pawn d4, but um, seems like an interesting idea. So, yeah. Alright, uh, update on fighting Nemo. Yep. Marlon is fun. Do you have your exit buddy? What's Marlon doing, though? Oh, okay. So, he wants to play bishop b7, so I'm going to try to get queen f3 in first to prevent him from doing that. Um, and he's gone this way. Pawn at d6 maybe is a bit too creative. I think he'll take, take, knight takes, takes the rook, bishop at b7. Mm, play bishop b3, if he takes here, can I take e6? And then I just kind of chase into safety. I think it's more sensible to come around this way. Um, you can play bishop e4, or maybe something happens on g6. I'm not concerned about knight d4, it's pinned. Uh, but I am concerned about queen d4. That's not good for me. I've left that one hanging. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I thought he should have played. Queen d4 here. Um, he's going to threaten pawn e4, but I'll just consolidate with bishop e3. Hmm. 
Ohne Chief oder so hier. Ähm. Yeah, I think black black should be better here. He just needs to be careful how he trades pieces that he doesn't leave like some kind of knight at d6 which which will unravel his king. Yes, Bella. <coughs> you wanna make something. Hang on. On my computer. Hang on. Alright, we'll put a pawn on d6. So if he's gonna play knight f4, I need to make him think about things like knight at c7. Oh, we can't we can't paint just yet because Daddy's on the channel. No, you're taking too long with the channel. Oh, I'm taking too long with the channel. We can have a conversation as long as you're talking to the microphone. Yeah, I, I am taking too long. Uh, I should give her some attention here. So, um. Ooh. Okay, let's see. E Dog Bombing says, John Lee would love to hear. Hang on a second. John Lee would love to hear your take on 12 Teens development. Seems like he's able to go toe to toe with you and toe to toe with Luft. Yet you win more than twice as many games against Luft. So why do you think that is? How would you describe their style? Um, yeah, uh, twelve ten is is very fast, sharp, and aggressive. Um, I think he'll he'll cause problems for for any strong player. Um, I think Luft is, is probably much closer in strength to me than the, the long-term scores suggest. Um, it's just that somehow in, in the critical positions, I, I tend to find a little bit extra over him. 12-10, um, yeah, just basically causes me problems where, um, you know, it's just fast, aggressive. Yeah, and it's... You know, you're playing on the clock as well. You've got to play for everything. Um, if I'm playing any less than full focus, like I'll just get taken to town by 12 t um, It's not really that he's, he's developed so much as that he, he's always been this good, I think, but he's just played Bughouse more so. Um, okay, this is interesting. Let's, let's give this a go. I'm, I'm sure I've tried this before somewhere. An early night at d4. Um, yeah, I find 12 teen is, is my toughest opponent in, in one minute at the moment. Alright, so the idea here is if, if the queen goes back, you get pawn e2. Um, he's not gone that way, so let's play pawn at g4. I'm trying to encourage his queen to move here. And now I want to harass this knight because I want knight at f3. And at the same time, I'm forking. So he's not allowing it. Which means I'm probably a bit worse off now, because now my pieces aren't really coordinated that well, and his are. Um, I'm not thrilled about this. Ooh, I think he's outplayed me again in the opening. Yes, Bell, what's up? Is it Sydney? Really? You saw it. Yeah, he's pretty quickly taking the play away from black. Uh, I've got to try to be creative here, but I think it just fails. Um, I think he can take the queen and just grab the knight. He's probably better. Uh, I was hoping there'd be some knight at f3 tricks, but he'll have a mate threat on me.
So I can't play knight f3 because even after takes, well, he probably wouldn't take, he'd probably play king h1 to avoid g2 being a weakness. After taking the queen, knight at h6 would have mated me back here. Knight at f3, king h1, knight h4, knight at h6, king h8, queen at g8, rook takes, knight f7. If you take the knight, then queen at g7 or queen at h8 mates. In this case though, he can't just simply take this because I can grab it. The regular mate with knight at h6 or knight e7 won't work because I'm covering f5. So, yeah, he's played bishop at e3 to defend f2. That stops knight at h3 from working. And then meanwhile, it's also threatening mate. So, okay, I'm kind of surviving here. Material's still balanced, but... Um, yeah, I've got to cover this knight at e7 threat now. Pawn at g7 coming in. So I've got some weaknesses. This isn't so easy to address. Bishop, bishop at e3 is a nice move. Okay, we gotta we gotta keep creative here. I think Queen at H five, sharp move, but the right move. Is it? Hmm. No, Bishop at G seven. Okay, I thought pawn at h6 was a problem, but I can just take it. So, okay, we're, we're low on the clock. I've got some safety. Let's play. I have to get in lightning quick here. The thing I was concerned about before was after bishop at g7, pawn h6, but then I would be able to take it after takes knight at h3 would mate my opponent. So now, um, all right, um. Okay, 12 seconds left, uh, I need to see if I can make something out of this quickly. Alright, my king is going to be safe, but I've got to try to seal this off, yes. Uh, Oh yeah, I've got to be very accurate here. Knight at g5, not not bishop at g2. Um, critical critical moves there. So let me wind that back just a little bit. If uh, if I play instead bishop at g2, he goes king h4, knight at g6, king h5, and I can't play any more checks. So what's critical is to play knight at g5 to save the bishop for g6, and being resourceful with knight g2. That's critical, and then bishop at g6 mate. So. Uh, very happy with uh, how I've played in the last 10 seconds there. Um, it's, a, it's a sharp finish. Yes, Bo. Yeah, they got to Sydney. That's where we live. Yeah, that's where we live. Uh, that was actually a mail slip. Um, so <laughs> I've never played this game before, believe it or not. In, in all the time I've played, I've never seen these first two moves played. Um, no, C4, Queen E4. Yeah, they are at Sydney. It is where we live. You know what? I'm just going to make it really interesting. If he takes, Knight C3 is fine. Queen E4, I'm going to back the king here. And it all looks awkward, but I'm just planning to play D3. 
If he plays d3 himself, then I get knight c3. And meanwhile, this is all pinned. So everything's holding together. It's just weird and unfamiliar. Um, yeah, he's played d3, so I get knight c3 in. And now that's my enemy number one. Okay, Queen G6 played. So, what's important here? The position's weird enough. Let's just make it weirder. Um, this actually just helps the rook to cover H3. And I need to work out how I'm going to undermine this guy. Or, or maybe I don't need to undermine him, I just need to play for space. So, Bishop g4 is coming. I don't want to allow that. I'm going to move my knight before it comes. I think this is really interesting. We, we get to see um, how both Master at 10 and I navigate this uh, unfamiliar position. It's like it'll be unlike anything we've we've played before. Um, I want to get knight f4 in, but I've got to be careful of tricks on e2 because knight at f4 starts undermining d3. He's got queen h7 that covers it. Then I can start maybe thinking about queen f3. Also, he's got to look out for e6, so, um, hmm, maybe that's not a bad positional say. It's all, it's all positional and sharp and everything in between. Yeah, it's a pelican. Alright, we've got pelicans on the screen now. Um, pawn on e2 is not good for me, so I can't just give up a pawn too early on e6. I might need to get queen f3 in first, just so I can avoid that fork. And then I'm looking at bishop at, so I'm looking at queen h7. Oh, never mind that, he's gone queen g4. Okay. So if I couldn't take this because he would take my knight. I've got the pawn I'm looking for. I've got knights holding things secure. So he might come in with bishop h3. No, going this way. Okay. So if I can hold on to that pawn and then now make something with e6, I'll stand better. Alright, queen e4, simply attacking the pawn on, on g4. And also putting a double attack on c6. So, uh, really interesting game. Okay, he's defending it that way. Let's grab this and then try to come in. I'm going to allow queen at d1, but I'm not concerned because I can block it with the queen. So now I'm attacking him on that weakness. I've just picked up a bit of material. If check here, I've got bishop e1. That, that's not too big an issue. Um, so I've got to just try to pick up material. Oof, okay. Very strange game. Uh, Daniel FHD says Disney would sue you after this stream. Yeah, well, if people want to watch the quality of the screen in the background, then yeah, maybe they've got a case, but uh, 
Let's either um, have this in the background or we're not going to have a stream. I need to occupy my daughter just for a little bit. Okay. How to make progress from here. This looks interesting but dangerous. We'll, we'll try this. Alright, um, I'd just be happy to relieve some pressure on this diagonal here. Meanwhile this knight is also giving nice coverage on light squares, which is in some way countering the pressure from here. Um, ooh, queen f6, okay, he's, he's going straight for it. Hmm, what's the idea behind this? So he's got the double attack here. Queen of g7, bishop takes. We have to take with a queen. Hmm. Interesting queen sec. Maybe it's worthwhile giving up this pawn here. I'll, I'll just attack here. It might be better if I keep the queen in hand. This way. All right, all right. You're hungry. What else would you like to eat? Something else. Something else. That's a bit vague. What's something else? All right, hang on. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can have something else in a moment. That is just in the middle of the game. Okay, all right. Okay, I might call this last game, actually. Um, I've... Uh, I've got this daughter to attend to. Um, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Can you wait two minutes? You just go watch TV for two minutes? Yep, two minutes, then we'll get you, we'll get you something else. Uh -huh. Okay, so Queen at H2, the immediate threat. I think he, what he was trying to do was get my king on h8 to play pawn g7 after I take it, he can play knight at h5 and neatly capture this. Um, so that's what I'm trying to avoid at the moment. Um, I'm for, trying to get him to play something on f3 to cover h2. This is under attack. Um, but if I get another knight, then I can start taking things on f2 and his position could crumble. Um, so. Let's see where this goes. Knight um, f3 seems appropriate. Uh, what can he do? We'll, we'll go knight f3. I think taking this way is natural. Uh, yeah, I just got to be careful I don't get mated myself. Um, pawn h7, king h8. Yeah, I, I should be okay playing this. Pawn h7, king h8, bishop at g7, takes knight at h5. I can come back. He has no pawn in hand, but he might grab this. But even then, I, I think I'm safer than him if we go that way. Knight at h6 isn't a concern. You can back off this way. Um, so I think he's hunting for a resource here, or else he's looking like he'll be worse. He could play d4 maybe, and then just weather the storm. Um, and if I trade too many pieces, I'll end up getting mated. But yeah, we, we both kind of, both have to play for initiative and not back down. It's a little bit like the first one to back down that's going to end up losing. Okay, so as predicted, he's played d4. Now, I'm going to be mated if I don't cover up properly. 
I'm gonna play Rook at C2. This is just to make him expend the piece. Yep. You know what you're scared. All right, hold on, Bill. Um. Yeah, he's not willing to expend the piece. Hold on, Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just give me like a few minutes. All right, I see something sharp here. Bishop, Bishop D4, followed by Queen at E3. Now, the, the key point is, I have a pawn in hand to play pawn at g3. If he takes, queen f4 is mate. Queen f4 is mate. Um, but now I get knight f2 if he goes back here. I get a mate to finish. Look, I've been pretty good. I've had a tough week of work, but um, still haven't lost all the form that I've built up over the last few weeks. Um, Uh, so, yeah, I'm seeing moves like bishop d4 here. Um, it's really good at top level. So hopefully I'll, I'll bring a good game tomorrow uh, up against Venos. Um, I'm going to go uh, help out my daughter with whatever she wants. I've seen her for about four days now. Uh, so looking forward to a bit of quality time. But all right. Um, look, thanks for joining the stream. Um, good to do one on YouTube for a change. Been doing Twitch for a little while. Um, yeah. Hope you have a great weekend and uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow in about, I think it's 19 and a half hours, right? 6 p.m. GMT, Saturday. I'll see you there. Take care.